The battleship Arizona graces the back of Donald Stratton's classic truck. Now at 94, he points out the anti-aircraft gun. Right there. Where as a 19-year-old, he fought the Japanese sneak attack on Pearl Harbor, December 7th, 1941. In less than two hours, American naval power in the Pacific has been paralyzed. Some of the pilots waved at us and smiled. They were waving at you while they That's were shooting right. at you? And we were firing at them, but uh, we could see our bursts in the sky and they were way short. The Arizona was one of eight battleships under unrelenting Japanese airstrikes. Just blew a fireball about six or eight hundred feet in the air, and that just engulfed us where we were at. I was like burned over 60 percent of my body. We were just actually burning alive. For nearly 75 years, Stratton said little about how he survived, as more than 1,100 others on the Arizona perished. But he has finally written a memoir all the gallant men. It reveals things even Velma, his wife of almost 67 years, had never heard. When I read the book, I cried. Of the explosion, Stratton writes, the flames found us, burning off our clothes, our hair, our skin. Men stumbled around in the deck like human torches, each collapsing into a flaming pile of flesh. A makeup artist's recreation of his injuries is hard to look at. How do you go on fighting or trying to survive with that amount of pain? Well, it's just self-preservation. I just pulled the skin off my arms and threw it down because it's in the way. And then... you, you pulled the skin off your arms? Well, it was burned and it was just hanging down there. Recovery meant months of searing pain and surgeries. When doctors wanted to amputate his limbs, Stratton refused. Did you think you are going to make it? I don't think I ever entered my mind that I wouldn't. And he wouldn't be kept away. Little more than a year after Pearl Harbor, he re-enlisted and fought in the Pacific. Did you think you had a score to settle? Thought about a little revenge, but we had a job to do. Over the years, he has returned again and again to the Arizona Memorial. Well, it's very sad. That's a very sacred place. I lost so many shipmates that day. It's just like going back and losing them all over again. Have you managed to forgive Japan? Let's put it this way. 1,167 men out there on that Arizona, I sure as hell wouldn't shake hands with them, so I'm not going to do it. Wednesday, on the 75th anniversary, he'll attend commemorations with his whole family, including great-grandchildren. John Blackstone, CBS News.